ever since my mom's dog passed away, she's been weirdly obsessed with this vase. And I'm going to be honest, it's a little dirty, so I'm going to be a good son and clean it out for her. <laughs> the really weird thing is, I have no idea where all this dust came from. It's not even like our house is dirty. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to dump out all this weird stuff and just get it all out of there. I honestly spent a long time scrubbing it because I just wanted to do a really good job because she's been kind of upset recently. She's going to be home pretty soon and I can't wait to surprise her with this. some miso soup. Oh my god, miso soup! I'm going to show you one of the most difficult bathtubs I've ever had to clean in my entire life. As you guys know, I clean up biohazards, so that means I'll have a bathtub like this that hasn't been cleaned in a really, really long time. So what I think what ends up happening is mold, mildew, and other stuff just gets super caked on there, and it just makes it really difficult. And trust me, sometimes I just really want to call it quits and not put any more effort into it because it's just so annoying to deal with. Like, I literally have to use our strongest chemical with metal scrapers and metal steel brushes to get that stuff off. But for me, it's like at the end of the day, everybody deserves a clean, functioning bathroom again, and so that kind of helps me get through the mental aspect of it, at least. So even though I'm like sweating profusely in this hazmat suit and it's taking me actual hours to finish this one bathtub, I feel good at the end of the day knowing that it's really helping someone get back on their feet. But that's enough of me talking. Here's what the finished results look like. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But the next video will be about how I do these toilets. And yeah, that's a whole other thing. So. <laughs> sweet grandmother lives alone and while she does an amazing job keeping her home as clean as she can there are a lot of tasks she's just not able to do so every time we visit missouri we try to do some of the deeper cleaning items for her this year i started with the toilet in the downstairs bathroom
my husband and I came to clean this house for free for a family that needed it. And this was a toilet. Yes, I'll be the first one to tell you that this toilet was dirty and that's why we're cleaning it. If it wasn't dirty, we would not need to clean it. Gloves on and paper towels because I'm not using any microfiber towels. What a difference! Okay, I started by wiping off the floor by hand because I am probably going to be on my knees at some point to clean the toilet and I don't want to get any of that pee or nastiness on my uniform. I did apply some toilet bowl cleaner while I did the rest of the toilet just to allow it to sit in there. Then some bleach, you know the drill. And I almost never do this, but I did rinse the whole toilet with some water and soap. That's it!